I am Fidel. We are in Houston, Texas. I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Sketch. He's about to ask me some very good questions, I hope. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we'll start off the uh, one I do for Wado Radio as a series, asking artists kind of your introduction to Christians doing hip hop, or what did you hear about it, or when did it really kind of capture your attention if it didn't initially? Um, well, first, the first rap culture that I ever was really a part of mm -hmm. was in Memphis, Tennessee. And it's not Christian rap, but just rap. So my influence from music came from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm from North Memphis, right? The first, so it, that gave me a certain view of how music should be, how it should be carried, how you should carry yourself. The first music, Christian rap that I, that's in my, that I just remember that really hit me mm -hmm. Um, was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It was a group that doesn't exist now. They call United Souls. And I'll never forget them because they had a swag that I always felt was needed, like if you were going to do this for the Lord. And they were called United Souls. The funny thing is one of the guys in that group is still around CHH right now. His name is Steve Patton. He yeah. writes for Rapzilla. Um, but it was three of them. It was King Ray. It was um, Steve at that time. I believe he was going by O2 or the Czar. And it was uh, another guy named Russell. And they were, in my opinion, amazing. They were the reason that I st even still do it today was the impression that they made on me. Yeah. Um, they at, at the core of, Chris, of, of how I view music and how hard I am on myself and things like that, they... We're the first group to tell me, hey, this is not, this music right here is not good or you should do this. They were really hard on me. Like, mm -hmm. They kind of birthed me. I, when, I, when, I, when younger artists ask me, how do I get involved with Christian rap? I look back to what I did with them. All I did was help them in everything they did. I saw them like rock secular venues. I saw them rock churches. I saw them rock everything. Yeah. And I saw them represent Jesus in a way that I felt that I felt it should be done. So yeah. Like, so you were a Christian when you first heard of them? Yes. Yeah. And do you Christian. remember how you even heard about them? I don't, man. I, I don't remember. Um, I don't remember how I heard about them. All I remember is one day being somewhere and seeing them out. And, and there was some, I think it might have been an event. The event that sticks in my mind is an event that they threw for an album release party. And I went, and they they just, they were them. It was their identity. It yeah. was who they were. And I remember being so impressed. Because before that, I think that if I had heard of Christian, whatever it was, didn't make a good impression on me. Yeah. It, it was, it was, it was like, it was a bunch of artists who felt like, who I felt like they were just imitating something else. But these guys mm -hmm. were who, they were, this is who they were. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the, the expression of that they gave was from their perspective of what Jesus had done in their life. So that, that I really drew that. Yeah. And was your name Fidel back in the day? Yes. Yeah. I, I the way I found Fidel was I had I was I looked for a synonym for truth and fidelity was one of the words. Okay. And so this is the crazy thing though. I sh I didn't shorten it. My man Ray from United Souls, he shortened it. He said, "Hey, dog, just go with Fidel." Mm -hmm. He said it'd be easier for people to say. And like so that's how Fidel came. It okay. was it was my man Ray from United Souls. Yeah. Like, that's who, who kind of, you know, birthed that. Yeah. And also, just to kind of go on, there was a movement that was birthed in Tulsa, Oklahoma, that really influenced me. It was United Souls, it was Mass Reality, it was a group called Reaction, Resistance. It was a movement that I tell people like I wasn't I'm not a product of like the current, the last five years of Christian rap. Like, mm -hmm. That movement that was the movie that probably nobody really knows about that really kind of like launched me. Yeah. You know what I mean? They were, what what things are now, like I feel like that's what it is. It was a bunch of talented guys who loved God and who believed that they should do it in excellence. And But they should be able to exist anywhere. Like mm -hmm. if they're in, like they could be places where there's just like South by Southwest, we're, we're about to head there. I come from the mindset, you can be a Christian and be in that environment and you just, know who you are yeah like you don't have to partake in all the things 
but you walk in like, hey, you know, I do this and I take this seriously. And that, 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 that swag, that mentality is something that I was kind of launched with from the beginning. And I, and I feel like I still carry it to this day. It's one of the reasons that I think people have always told me like, oh, you seem a little different than what, I, and it's not like I'm trying to be, it's like, I came out of a different culture that probably will never be in the record books and yeah. we'll never hear about, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and I think it speaks to Flame told me too about local, the impact of local artists yes. in their own city. You don't yeah. have to reach masses, but you can impact people in your own city yeah. that can go on and do. And that's what stuff. that's what I'm a part of. Yeah, and the movement. We had a whole. It was a mixtape, but I called the movement. Yeah, and like that was like the birth of who I am. So like, so yeah, I'm proud of that too. Yeah, cool. Now, where can people find you online? You can find me. Follow me on the gram, Fidel underscore music. My website, Fidel music.com that's f-e-d-e-l music holla at me say hi what's up fidel aka mr i will be i will be